So what we're going to do here is we're going to press once and hold. And when the drone's on, we're going to pop it into para mode, which is just a simple press and hold. One single press and hold. See, when it's in para mode, you can get that beep. You get the LEDs flashing up and down. So like I said, now we're going to try and connect it to the remote, uh, the goggles V2. So I'm going to pop the DJI FPV down and I'm going to switch on my goggles. Again, just a normal press and hold. And when the goggles are on, you're actually going to need a tool. Um, and it's very, very similar to an iPhone where you change the SIM card. So you just need a little pin. You could use something like a small screwdriver or even a toothpick. Um, and what you want to do is on the underneath of the V2 goggles, you're going to have a look round until next to the power source, you're going to see a very, very small red dot. Now it's right next to the power. And it's just there, if you can see that, right there. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press that in with your little device. You should hear beep. So now the goggles are flashing, or beeping as I should say. And it should have on the screen, you should see that you've now connected to the aircraft itself. As you can see there, you can see radio in the background. Let's try that again. As you can see, I can now see my lamp and my radio over here. Right, so we've got the aircraft connected. We've got the goggles connected. Now, Final step would be to pair the remote controller too. So again, you're going to turn it on, and that's a click and a hold. And you can see that it's not paired to anything. So again, we're going to press once, and we're going to hold to put the controller into para mode. And while that's in para mode, we're also going to put the drone back into para mode with a press and hold. And as you can see, the controller on the, the controller stopped beeping, it's gone a solid green. The aircraft's stopped beeping and that's solid. Not solid, but it's showing that it's on. And the last check in the goggles can show me that I'm all paired up. As you can see, I'm going to try and zoom in there for you. And as you can see there, you've got your RC and HD all connected up. And that's how you pair everything together.